Hey, it's Bob the Hippie Gardener. Today we're going to finish out a bed we started the other day with uh, more plants that you can grow in the fall on into the frost. In this case, we're going to plant some endive, some bok choy, and some lettuce, just as crops that really are not um, hurt by an early frost. So we're going to start with all of these, and all of them are really shallow depth plants, so you don't need to plant them very deep. We have a row of turnips we just planted here recently. So now we're just going to go about six inches away, six to eight inches away. I just use the old human method to measure. And we're going to put some chicory. It's called Trisphene endive. I believe that's how you say it. <laughs> And this is also from Pine Tree Seeds, a company that has a lot of uh, heirloom seeds. And they do small quantities, so you, the price is cheaper. And these are little teeny tiny seeds, kind of like lettuce seeds. It's related more to lettuce, and it is actually uh, makes it sweeter when it gets hit by a frost. Just like the turnips that we planted earlier. And these, like the other ones, are small seeds, the other uh, turnip seeds. These are small seeds, and you can just kind of zip them up a little bit with just a little dirt like that if you want. Because they're so small, you don't need to plant them very deeply. Nature doesn't even plant them deeply at all. Nature usually just drops them on the ground, so... They don't need much cover. All you need to do is try to keep them moist for a few days and they should sprout just fine. We're also gonna plant some bok choy, a couple of different kinds of bok choy in here. One's um, a small one called Heydu. Hey do tiny, I believe it's called. This is from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. They have a lot of interesting varieties of uh, vegetables. So these again are kind of like a brassica and you don't need to plant them very deep. These mature in about 20 days. So very quickly. So you can actually plant these in a way that you, you think that you can plant something next to them, it's gonna get a little bit bigger because you're gonna pull these out in about 21, 22 days. And using the same method of measuring here, again, I can do it by sight mostly. And these are similar looking seeds. That's all we'll put in that row because these are gonna get quick, uh, big quickly. And again, you just barely cover them. And the last thing I'm gonna put in this bed in the back is something called Tom Thumb lettuce, and it makes a little head of uh, lettuce, which is just great for two people. So you can make a salad with it. So we'll plant these. Uh, around the bed direction here same way right towards the edge when these come up we'll mulch them to keep the moisture in if it gets hot again these uh, again are lettuce seeds and they look like lettuce seeds
And this is a pretty quick growing lettuce too, so I would guess um, most of these will be ready in about 45 to 45 days or so after they sprout. It'll take a couple days for them to sprout. And if you want to see what happens in a couple of days, I planted some turnips just a couple of days ago in another bed here. And it's rained. And you can see that in two days, the turnips are coming up. And this is a bed that we do succession cropping like all of our beds. So we have some leeks in here that will be eaten really soon with the potatoes we just harvested to make some potato leek soup. We'll try to send you that recipe as we do it. Um, and then there's some lettuce already growing over here that I, that I started from seed a, a while back. And then some beets that are going to be filling in here in the middle for a fall crop. Um, so. That's what you do when you want a succession crop and make full use of your garden all the way up until frost.